What up, what up? Waiver Wire Week 6 edition. I'm bringing you the wide receivers. We got a lot of peeps to talk about that are going to help you win your league. If you didn't see any of the other videos, the running back video, the team defense video, tight ends, you need to watch the tight end video because you know your tight ends suck. Make sure that you're subscribing. Make sure you're watching all the other videos. And I got eight wide receivers to talk about. I always start with your little bit more desperation plays. And then I got my favorite plays at the end. So make sure that you stick around towards the end. Let's get down to biz. Now, this might be some of the lowest hanging fruit out there is Darius Slayton. He's not necessarily my favorite because once Neighbors comes back, he's going to go a little bit more to being like, like an afterthought. Danny Pesos Jones, he does not go through his progressions very well. It's usually the first or second guy that he's locking on. And Darius Slayton went from being the number three guy to the number two guy because Neighbors was out. Just throwing it out there. I know this is super low hanging fruit because he scored like 26 points last week. He went over 100 with a touchdown. But with, na- with Neighbors coming back, I doubt he has any kind of of similar production at all to that so just remember that i i like him but neighbors back you probably don't want to start him i told you that this list it always starts with a very very dart throw desperation like type of guys now depending on how desperate you are corderell hodge <laughs> he's not going to get many targets but the high powered offense of the Falcons and the way that they're throwing it and how they can't really get the run going like Cordero Hodge. If you are super, super desperate in a deep league, here you go. Here's one guy. There you go. You got a touchdown last week, but I just feel like the more that the Falcons have to throw it. And I don't think their defense is going to be helping them with getting them dominating in games necessarily. The guys like Cordero Hodge are going to be out there running around. He had 18% of the snaps this week. And that's like my main reason for even bringing him up because before this, he's playing in like 5% of the snaps. He actually jumped up a lot. And I guess it's going to depend on like Drake London because we know he's a little bit banged up right now. So that's like another reason why you would even play a Corderell Hodges if there's anything wrong with like Drake London in general. Here's another desperation wide receiver potential pickup and flex this week. Rashad Bateman. I usually say, don't fall for the bait, man. Yeah. He's gotten two touchdowns this year, and those have been the games that he's gone over double-digit points. The only games that he's gone over double-digit points. But they go against the Commandos this week. And you know that even the even though the Commandos defense stepped it up a little bit, they still give up the booty to a lot of positions, including the wide receiver. And he plays about 60% of the snap let's just say 60 to 70 percent somewhere in the 60s you could do a lot worse than him when you're talking about just like these dart throw flexes when you like literally have nobody you got injuries you got a handful of guys on by something like that then maybe bateman ends up being someone who you think about because he plays 60 something percent of the snaps he got eight targets this past week they're having to throw it a lot And the way that Washington's been playing recently, I feel like they will be moving the ball and scoring points and probably going to force the Ravens to have to throw it a little bit more. But you got to be desperate. Another desperation type of wide receiver here, Mr. Ray Ray McLeod. 11 points in each of the last two weeks, 16 total targets in the last two weeks, 12 receptions, over 50 yards in each of the last two games. It's not great. But you need someone to get you around 10 points, whether he scores a touchdown or not. Ray Ray McLeod's been that guy running out of the slot for the Falcons. So depending on your level of desperation, I like this guy way better than Hodge, way better than Bateman. You know, he's been pretty solid as their number three wide receiver option over there. And if anything is going on with Drake London, just expect him to, he already plays like pretty much damn near all the snaps. So it's not really that, but just expect more targets to be coming his way. Next guy here, we just saw him ball out on Sunday night. And with no Brandon Cooks, Jalen Tolbert, that's who we're talking about here, ended up being a really solid flex pickup and play. He had 10 targets, 7 receptions, 87 yards, had that touchdown. They got Detroit coming up this next week. And Detroit, you really can't run on them, but you can throw on them a bunch. So Jalen Tolbert is a for sure pick up and start. Pick him up. If you need a flex play for week six, I would assume a lot of snaps played like almost 90% of the snaps. 
and 10 targets, even if he's not getting 10 targets a game, but if it's anywhere close to it, that's what we want out of a flex, a guy who's going to get some opportunity, a guy who plays in an offense that throws a lot. And yeah, he's only 7% rostered. So go pick him up. Pick him up. Next guy here. It's so funny. If you're watching this on YouTube, he looks more stoned than me. His eyes aren't even open while he's like smiling and cheesing. Alan Lazar. This was his third game with over eight targets. He got 10. So it was actually the highest of the season. Only four receptions, uh, only 34 yards, uh, only 34 yards, but he did get the touchdown as well. And the one thing that he's going to have going for him is that him and Aaron Rodgers, they're at least a little bit more on the same wavelength than it seems like him and Garrett Wilson are most of the time, even though Garrett Wilson balled out. Like I told you guys, don't sit him for any bums. Alan Lazard is just going to get those targets, man. Like they they throw it a lot. Teams like they're really doing whatever they can to stop the run. And they've been doing it. It's been pretty bad. And they got Buffalo this week. And it's been a lot easier to run on Buffalo than it has been to throw. But I feel like no matter what, Aaron Rodgers is going to keep chucking the ball. And Alan Lazard, he's definitely one of his favorite targets out there. So what do we do? Take him up. Let's do it. Now I got two wide receivers to talk about. I consider them one in the same because you're probably not going to go get both of these guys because I play on the exact same team. Josh Downs, I told you if it's Flacco to go pick him up. Pick him up! He only got 12 targets, only got nine receptions, and he only got 69 yards. 69, dudes! Very good. And if it's Flacco moving forward, I want him. If it's Richardson, I don't want to play him. And that's how it's going to be for him and this next guy here. Of course, you know that I'm talking about Alec Pierce. Balled out, three targets, three receptions, 134 yards and a touchdown. He's got three touchdowns on the year. The reason why I like downs a lot more, three targets versus 12, who's going to be a little bit more consistent with the points and their production and all that. He almost had two touchdowns. He got taken down at what? The two-yard line, three-yard line, something like that. But yeah, Alec Pierce, if he is available. Pick him up! But I am only playing him only if it is Flacco. I only got one more, and this is my favorite of the entire show. So make sure you guys hang around and hit that subscribe. My last guy on the list, Mr. Darnell Mooney. I have been telling you to go pick this dude up. Pick him up. He killed it last week. 31 points, 16 targets. Definitely is most of the season. If there's anything wrong with Drake London, he's just going to stay with this kind of volume. He had nine receptions, 105 yards, had the two touchdowns. I don't really know what else there is to say about him because I've been talking about him like every single week. I can only say it one more time because after this week, he will be above 50% rostered. Pick him up! 48% rostered as of now. Go get him on your squad because the Falcons, they are throwing so much and the defenses are keying in so much on Pitts and Bijan that it makes a guy like Mooney just like always be wide open. So last time that I can say it. Pick them up. Make sure you guys subscribe. I have a bunch of other videos that are out there. I do this every single week. I also put out a start and sit video where I go through every single position, every single game, talk about every single fantasy relevant player, at least for a second or two. So you guys need to be watching that. Subscribe. If you have not, I will be your biggest fantasy resource throughout this year, hands down. And go join our private fantasy community, 420 Crew. Dot com. Go check out the merch at 420crewmerch.com. And the best thing that you can do besides subscribing, hit that like button, throw in a comment, and you see the videos that are popping up around you right now, click one of those videos and go check out some other waiver wire heat that's going to help you win.